Hi, my name is Marcy McMahon, nutrition educator with Food Link, and today I am making a baked winter squash. So you can use any type of winter squash. I have a butternut squash here that I rinsed under running water using my vegetable brush to scrape off the dirt. So to break down a butternut squash, there's a couple different ways, but when you roast it, you want to slice off each of the stem ends, making sure to keep your fingers out of the way of the blade of your knife, and then cut it down the middle And then you'll want to scoop out the seeds, which you can save for roasting later. I'll skip that step right now just to demonstrate that you want to bake it on your cutting board or on your baking sheet face down. And I just have a parchment paper covered baking sheet. So you want to bake it until it is tender with a knife or a fork. And so I already have one half. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. The skin is blistered and charred and you can easily pierce through the middle with a knife and it's nice and soft. So the other half I already scooped out of my slightly cooled squash. You wanna give it some time to cool so you don't burn yourself and then it's easier to remove. And I'm just going to peel off the skin and add it to my bowl. Once you roast your winter squash, you can puree it, you can freeze it. This is a recipe that will freeze very well if you want to do a lot of it at once. And this is a great holiday side dish. It's warm and comforting. It goes with everything and it's great on its own as well. So to my squash, I am going to add a couple tablespoons of oil. You could also substitute butter. And I'm going to add some maple syrup. You could use brown sugar or you could use a combination of brown sugar and maple syrup. going to add a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And then just a sprinkle of salt and black pepper to taste. And you can puree it, you can mash it with a potato masher like I am, and you can mash it with a fork. And and you have a delicious roasted winter squash. And for more great recipes, visit jsyfruitveggies.org.